Good morning from the Swiss Alps, Jamie Stenhouse here and today I want to talk about the danger of automation in today's online world and just a few sort of insights I've been using uh, for myself, my own projects, my clients projects, whenever I'm playing with automation and the ability to really optimize automation to free up your time so you're able to do more of the nitty gritty tasks that also pay out profit as well. So when we begin talking about automation, the goal of automation is obviously to automate, automate tasks which can be automated to free up your time. However, I think when we should really look at automation, we should be looking at what can I automate that can be automated to free up my time so I can do more of the nitty gritty work, more of the work in the trenches, you see. So what I see a lot with and a lot of clients is that when they automate campaigns, they automate certain tasks, if it be advertising or SEO or um, even a product launch, when they automate it, they then just do that one thing only. So they might automate this massive eight week campaign and for the eight weeks, they won't do anything else, right? But if you really wanna grow quickly and you wanna use automation to actually grow your business rather than just run the business, right? If you wanna grow it rather than just run it using automation, then you need to be doing other manual in, in trenches tasks while the main task is being automated. So, I'll give you an example. If you're doing a automated product launch or a automated email campaign or anything like that, then while that's happening, you know, could you go drum up some in, some interviews? Because interviews cannot be automated; they're a very manual task. Can you go ahead and create new blog articles? Can you go ahead and create new content? Can you maybe build a new automation? Can you go up and door knock to get some new clients? Right. So. Whenever you use automation, whenever you have time freed up, go, great, I now have an extra eight, nine, 12 hours, what manual draining, gritty, um, sloggy task can I do to fill that time that I wouldn't have otherwise been doing anyway? So the way I use automation is I use it as an opportunity to do manual tasks, right? Tasks that can't be automated. Interviews, content creation, sales calls, client meetings, all right? So you want to use automation as the opportunity to grow your business by freeing up your time so you can do other manual tasks. You don't want to be just be using it just so you can automate things and sit back on a beach and send Snapchats all day, right? You want to be using it so that you can have free time to do the things that take more time or do or use auto automation to free up your time so you can you know, just get in the trenches more and more. I see a lot of entrepreneurs just want to create a automatic income stream and not have to work ever again. Now, unfortunately, that's very unlikely today, but maybe someone can prove me wrong. And what you want to be using it for is just to free up your time. You know, free up your time to do more of the things that actually pay you out, rather than just freeing up, freeing up the time so that you can chill out and relax, okay? So the danger in automation is that once it's been automated, people don't work. Right? People quit their work, or they don't quit, they don't um, keep doing work because it's all automated, right? They don't actively look out, or they don't actively seek more work to do while that thing's being automated. They don't actively look for additional tasks, take on more responsibilities, okay? So the danger in automation is it makes you soft. You're not actively pursuing the tasks or trying to close leads, or you're not actively looking for more work to do, right? So when you do take on automation, when you do begin to automate things, look for other tasks to add on to your pile because if you automate 10 tasks, and that's 10 extra task slots you can now put into every single day, we can take on you know, more clients, we'll take on more employees, we'll do anything else like that. So the danger in automation is that you don't want to be using it to free up your time so you can just chill out and relax. You want to be using it so you can utilize that newly found time to do manual tasks, the things that are in the trenches, the things that are hands-on, that take ages, and the things that grow your business, okay? So don't just rely on automation to run the business, obviously have that, but use the freely acquired time to do the business growing stuff. Approach some leads, drum up some media interviews, Create content, look at new opportunities, JVs, employees, team building, all that stuff, right? So 
that's my thought on automation. Um, yeah, just just don't rely on automation just to free up your time. Rely it to create more opportunities for you to do more work. Okay, so use automation to work more, not to free up your time. As weird as that sounds, it's something that I believe in. It's something that's helped myself and my clients to get ahead is that we use automation as an opportunity to do more work.